Hart is on the internet phone in. Lovely to have you with us. Saturday evening, nothing gets past me, of course. And a very warm welcome to the time, 10 o'clock. And welcome to everything we will be doing tonight in the next hour. You will thoroughly enjoy yourself. You've got live chat. We're live on Twitch. We're live on TikTok. We're live on LinkedIn. And we are, of course, live on YouTube. So you can tap the bell. Fantastic stuff. We'll see what's happening in the chat. Right off I go to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Thank you, do, Scotty. It's Kareem. Oh, thank you, do, Kareem. Well done, sir. You're spot on tonight. You've beaten thank everybody you, to you. it. <laughs> now, what a busy day we've had on the social media. We have, yes. <laughs> and how many idiots have we seen? How much ignorance have we witnessed? I am still reading some of it just now, Scotty, believe it or not. Yes. And, and I'm going to keep putting that, uh, with your permission, that Of case. course. No, no, yeah. just pop that down, Karim, because that is the staple diet these people need to feed off. You know, and it's very, very interesting because a lot of it, they've obviously had their heads stuffed with nonsense at a very young age. Yes, yes. I think there's jealousy there, Scotty, you know, and if, I, <clears throat> if you think back, think back to the olden days and what royalty and the power that the royals would have had back in the oh, days. Oh, huge. Hung in quarters, well, pre-1688, that would have been treason. You know, and they'd probably have been hanged for it for cheeking up to the king or queen. Absolutely agree. But I did watch a bit of the opening of the Scottish Parliament today and uh, the Queen's speech. I uh, thought she was, was outstanding. Really outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was wonderful and great. Of course, the Scottish crown there, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, which is very old and very, very delicate. And I had some dafty saying, Turn it in and feed everybody, but then what? That's what I say. Then what? When you've sold off the family silver, then what? And what people don't realize is things like food banks are political. The monarchy is apolitical. It keeps its nose out of modern politics. How long has food banks been a thing, Scotty? That's just within the last couple of years. No, 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 Karim. Uh, the, the big recession came about 12 years ago. So I would uh -huh. say we've had food banks for maybe 10 years. 10 years now, right. Okay. Yes, right. because, okay. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, no disrespect to your dear self, it's just the time flees. Right, okay. All right. Okay. You know? Time passes, so I think probably, I might be wrong, and people can tell me if I am, but I think we've probably had food banks, not really to to the extent we've got them now, maybe five or six years, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe I think there, there's always been some type of food banks, but obviously the things are going now, and after this winter with the, 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 the price increase, I'm just thinking, I think food banks are going to be, well, there'll be more and more opening up soon. Yes. After, Yes, I mean, I think I think that's going to happen. I think they're determined to impoverish the public now. Yeah, you know, yeah, they've seen that the, the the billionaires uh, are okay. They're not going to have to pay their tax now because we've come out of Europe, so there'll be no inquiry now. I would have thought it might yeah. sound irregular, but I would have thought there could have been a meeting between the British government and the EU and the the wealthy people to say, well, look, maybe we can come to an arrangement. Now, it's totally wrong. The rich people shouldn't get away without paying their tax. But if they're going to pull their money out the country, but instead of taking us out of Europe, they maybe could have come to some arrangement. <clears throat> you know, because that's, that's actually always happened. You see, after the First World War, the country had bankrupted itself. Killed off most of the upper classes, killed off most of the working classes, killed off most of the middle classes, and um, had bankrupted itself by throwing ordnance brass into the French soil. So they were really short of money. And they were speaking to the king about it, King George V, the Queen's grandfather. And he very kindly said, because he didn't need to, I have money and you're welcome to it if it will save the country 
but I'm not going to be also paying tax. You can't have it from both ends. So he came to an arrangement with the Inland Revenue, yes, uh, with the tax authorities of the time, and that meant that the king didn't pay tax at the time. The queen now pays substantial tax, you know, because people moaned and whinged. And do you know what I, I see, Kareem, when I look at that social media? I see people not understanding they're attacking a 95-year-old individual thinking they know about her personal life, who served her country without question, yes, without equivocation for 70 years. So you've got these people sitting in their, in, in their house comfortably attacking this lady when they don't realize that you need to respect the office. That's our symbol of authority. Without a symbol of authority, the whole society collapses. I actually think, who are these people? What have they contributed to society? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. You know, right. and they don't understand. I mean, I can absolutely put my hand on my heart and say I would never thank you for a royal job. I wouldn't thank you. I wouldn't thank you for spending my life with that deep, deep, deep commitment to other people. So you can't, none of your life's really your own. You know, that I deep commitment, somebody waking you with a cup of tea at half five in the morning and saying, morning, ma'am, Manchester today, I believe. Yes. Well, could you imagine many 95-year-olds doing what she done today? No. Having to come and open a parliament and doing speeches. That, that and speak so and speak so well. Yeah. Oh, very clear. You know? Yes. Um, and, and, and one woman was attacking her that she might have her own personal doctor. Now, if she was the chief executive of a company running something the size of the UK and the Commonwealth, I think she would be probably be getting a wee bit of medical uh, thrown into the deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't see anything. Well, listen, if she needs it, she needs it at the end of the day, you know, at 95, Scotty. It's a grand age. 95 is what she's in her 96th year. She does a full day's work, Karim. She'll see to her red boxes in the morning. Can you see yourself, Scotty, at 95 doing what she does? Um, I, 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 well, I hope I will still be doing this at 95, but, you know, I mean, I, don't yeah. everybody hold their breath. Yes. <laughs> uh, quickly, very quickly, my second point. It's only, it's only a couple of years away. Years, plenty years, Scotty, absolutely. Just the thing about, just quick thing about teaching. Yes. Uh, about Scotland, that obviously we know that our education system, as I do believe, uh, and evidence is there, it is one of the best, okay? None, nothing's perfect, there's always room for change. But something that I think that they removed a good number of years ago when I started my work, which was the chartered teacher. Uh, oh, yes. Rumour has it that's been brought back in next year. Uh -huh. Which I think that's fantastic for a lot of teachers that A, cannot get promoted, or B, that don't want promotion, but do the extra courses, learn the extra skills, and yes. educate that little bit extra. Fantastic, because no, no, I mean, the, the best place for a good, talented teacher, somebody like yourself, is in the classroom in front of the young people. You know, that's yeah. the best thing. But you also need to have, schools have to be properly run, so you need management, and you need senior management, and you need uh, de departmental heads, and that sort of ladder uh, is, is, is vital to the safe running of a school. And teachers are tremendous people. They rise to terrific challenges that, uh, you know, a lay person wouldn't understand. But I think when you when something comes up like and you'll know when you read about it, Scotty, about potential strikes and you read all the silly comments about are they get enough holidays, are they get enough No, 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 no. They don't understand. I wonder how these people would yeah. do with being um wait till we see, wait till I just check this out. Uh oh, something something like thirty hours in front of young people yes some of them who are very challenged and very challenging in classes of around 30 of them yes 
um, 33, yes, yeah. and that six or seven times a day. Yeah. You know? So, yeah. so no, these people wouldn't last two seconds. You, the, the most important, I say to other like, student teachers, you can make mistakes with content. That's fine. You can change that. You live and learn. But the most important thing you cannot get wrong is health and safety because uh, you've got 33 kids' lives in front of you. Exactly. You know, and if you, anything goes wrong, well, you will lose your job. You know, I'm, although my area is physical education, uh, I'm also one of the first aiders. And I won't go into details about it, but I, I need to read up. I've got a, a pupil that has sudden death syndrome. Right. Uh, and God forbid, God forbid, if it was to ever occur, um, but I'm pretty, I've read up on it if it ever does happen. But, you know, just like things like that, could people have that in their conscience, you know, and then criticise teachers? I mean, mm. during the pandemic, now I know we're not talking about it, but teachers went above and beyond. Absolutely, you know, teachers, absolutely you know, changed their there. job, I would imagine. Deep cleaning yeah. schools, deep cleaning classrooms. Uh, checking social distancing, wearing face masks, seeing young people are wearing face masks, all these rules and regulations. No, no, Kareem, I will never, ever, ever hear a word against teachers. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, Scotty, I'll let some of the other callers on. Yes, uh, we're, we're, we're at our 12 minutes, <laughs> and we did promise. <laughs> Thank you, do, Kareem, and thank you. <laughs> Tarala. What a top man. That's our Kareem. There we are. Now, who have we got here tonight? Uh, Dinky Doo Scotty says Big Daddy. Dinky Doo Sir. Howdy, Scotty, says Mark. It's the Scotty and Kareem show. Not at all, John. Uh, evening, Scotty. The monarch is part and parcel in a stable constitution. We need it. You lie that Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hello, this is Derek here. Who is it, Derek? Yes, I wonder if we could uh, do the uh, statue of Margaret Thatcher again in Scotland. Yes, well, we we're talking about it, Derek. Now, where did you say you're from? Is it London? Yeah. Excellent. Right. So you're a London man. Now, do you have a statue of Margaret Thatcher in Parliament Square? Not at the moment. Right. Would you like one? Absolutely. I've got one. I've got a very small statue in, in the front room at the moment. Right. Now, you think she was a wonderful lady, Derek? Absolutely. Yes. And you would like Scotland to have a statue of her in the centre of George Square? George Square, yes. George Square in Glasgow. Glasgow would you yes. like one in Edinburgh? Yeah, one in every town. One in every Perth, Stirling. Yeah. Stirling. And then what about the rest of the country? What about Manchester, Sheffield, Liverpool? Yeah, let, let's ship them out. Right, so get statues cast. Get them nice and high because they might be vandalised. You never know. There's a lot of very poor quality people around. And I, I think the Scottish government should pay for them. Right. The Scottish government should pay for it. Okay. We shall see what's happening there. Right. That's how Derek, he's gone. Uh, guys, this guy is from London. He wants statues of Margaret Thatcher around here. Margaret Thatcher. Thank you to all the beautiful people. Have you ever done any serious acting? I have, Charlie. Hi, Olivia. Dink you do. We're in Scotland. Absolutely. Thank you to Andy Pandy for my hundred TikToks on TikTok. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hiya. Hiya, Scotty. It's me, Clive. Oh, Glenn, thank goodness. How are we? I'm now, doing wasn't doing Kareem doing just an absolute peach tonight? Been so on for his yeah. ten minutes and away, you know? I've been, <laughs> to, uh, I've been to a football match today, Scotty. Right. I've been to watch uh, Wednesday. And did everybody behave? And, um, I was walking back from match this evening. I was talking to a friend of mine from West Midlands. Right. This this fellow Wednesday fan and these other two guys start getting rarer. Ah. Yeah. You know, with mouth square. Bit bit gobby. A bit too big for the bull sky, I think, Scott. Yeah. So did yeah. you tell them off? 
I think he's disgusting. You know, fans from same club have got the cheek to, you know, then like start taking the mic kind of thing. No, we shouldn't have that. We shouldn't have that. Foss Time Shepherds just joined us on TikTok. No, we shouldn't I, have that, Glenn. I think it's a disgusting mentality. Do you, Scott? Uh, I do, yes. And I think yeah. all that should change from football. You never, ever, ever abuse another fan. Yeah. Same team, all your support, I know. Yeah, same team, but even the opposite team, I don't think there should be any booing or hissing or thumbs down or any of that. This, Scott, this is walking <laughs> back from football, this literally walking back. Right? See, I, I think they should all be standing together. I think we need to stop this separate ends. Yeah. And I think you need them all standing together like we do at rugby. I've done it for I years know. since I was 12 years yeah. old. Right? I standing together. Yeah. Standing together and then turning round, you know, to your oppo oppo mate supporting the other team and going, "Hey, the, he deserved that goal there. You were well up there, buddy." You know when you get some confrontation like that, though, Scott. It Shouldn't be any what confrontation. Why do you do in that situation? Would you play your mouth back off to him? Or? Well, I well I probably would a bit actually. You know, I'd tell them to grow up. It gets your freckles up a bit, doesn't it? You know, and, and all that. And then they start, well, what are you going to do about it? I say, well, I'm, I'm just telling you, giving you a bit of education. They give me a little bit of foul mouth obscurities kind of thing, Scott. You know, I've seen it is. Uh, yeah, a bit shocking that, actually. They shouldn't yeah. actually know. It might be an idea to phase out swearing in the country. You know, and get people talking a lot more respectful, good day to you, but sir, all that stuff. That, you look at them on TikTok there, Glenn. I've never seen yeah. so much respect. There's definitely respect lacking in streets, guys. Yeah, they lack yeah, respect. Sorry. That's what it is, Glenn. Glenn, I'm going to have to dash because they're piling in here. I don't want to gum up the phones. Scotty, in a civilised world, though, I mean, you can't then your opinion, though, is... Oh, you can, you should be able to have your opinion, but there's no need I for mean, for swearing you know, or obscenities. You know, it's just one of the like supposed to be the most dance one of dance worst uh, counties, isn't it? Ah, uh, York, Yorkshire, Yorkshire's supposed to be the best. But what Scotland like with people like that? Then Sky. Well, not too bad at all. There's a little bit of swearing sometimes, more in the in the west coast, I think. Yeah. You know, well, but we we could phase that out. Is there a bit? Conservative, then is there, is there a bit hush hush kind of thing? You know, like if somebody's saying, You say, oh, to, Don't discuss all that. You know, like if you know, like if somebody's you know, just sent have, me some beautiful TikTok glasses, Scotty. I just think everybody bleeds the same, does the same. We hey, all respect each other. Glenn, you're talking respect. my language now. That's what we should do, my dear and, friend. And that, that's the problem. I'm That's going to have to dash. Hey, and you I take care. A dinky do la, top man. That's our Glen Tarala. Uh, so there we go. Uh, the monarch is part and parcel of the stable constitution. We got to that. Hi, D. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dean. Says Zan. Uh, sounds like it. Joseph, there's no need for you to chip in. Right. There we are. John, it's not the Kareem and Scotty show. Kareem just phones early. The rest of you can do the same. So, John, if you want to phone, Joseph, if you want a phone, not a problem. You're live with Scottish phone in, who's that? It's David, thank you, Scottish Oh, thank you. David, what a joy to hear from you. What an amazing show already tonight. That's good, of course, Scottish. David, we're talking about, we're talking about phasing out swearing. Well, that's also not really good. I understand that, you know, son, as you know. You know, that's you know. it. You know, we can do without it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm no saint. I've said the odd word, you know, but but to be honest with you, we never do it on the phone in, and uh, and it's very very healthy not to. It's not, it's not a nice God, you know. You, you well, you see, that. social media, social media people. As soon as they swear, they completely yeah. lose their point. Yeah, of course. It's, you know, I mean, we, we all know that. You know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm thinking about you, right, Scotty? Yes. I feel, I feel you're changing. You're getting. You're giving cause uh, five minutes, that's good. Now, I'm getting a wee bit, I'm actually actually getting concerned because I'm losing my memory. But again, back to the first guy, we should do again, the guy we all know. Kareem, Kareem. Kareem, I 
I'm not against Korean, but people are uh, saying things and all that. You know, as you know, right? But they'll always be saying things, and the bigger the phone in gets, the more things they'll be saying. Oh, I know, but again, back to But again, spit it out, Davy. What's troubling you? Nothing but the thing is, again, so Mickey's boy was attacking uh, Kareem last night. Yes, he was. He was, you know, and and listen. There's Billy. There's Billy. Stops going. Scotty ban Kareem. Korean, he calls him. Boring, no, numpty ban, head. No, don't ban Kareem, no, you know, so that's Kareem. Billy on there, and uh, uh, sorry, Thatcher no. was a good speaker as a Tory, a good Tory leader, but many in Scotland will not no, forgive I, her. I know, and then so 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 Kareem was, was Kareem was speaking right, what to speak. He was acting normal. Yes, he spoke, I, I speak to you right. It's just normal. Normal. It's normal things, right? And then Mickey Boy says, Maggie, Maggie, that's a stuff, right? So he's saying he was boring, right? Yes. So I'm, to, I'm thinking, uh, Mickey Boy is boring. That is that he won't stick in uh, George Square, Scott. Can you know that? Yes, absolutely. Yes, sticking a statue in George Square. I think it would get vandalized. Yeah, so, so <sighs> Mickey Boy was getting jealous of Kareem. Yes, because I think so. Maybe because like Kareem's very clever and because oh, okay. I give Kareem a big time of day, there might yeah. be the green-eyed monsters, Davy. I know. Scotty, I, 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 I noticed, you know. Again, again, last night I was See, there's a guy that. saying it's the Scotty and Kareem show. Now, he can come on just the same as Kareem. Yeah, I know. And then, but... Mickey boy, oh, yeah, I should do it, Mickey boy. That's him. He's like, no, Scotty, no, Scotty, you've got that, Scotty. You know, it's a bit of a shush. Oh, I, I, Mickey boy, yes, absolutely. And he, and he said, you shut your gob. And you shut your gob. Right. But yeah, you see, shut your gob is not actually rude. Because I think I told you that in the Tudor days, you cut your meat into gobbles. Point, it goes really nice, and the next point you change. Yes, it blows, it blows hot and cold, Davy. And I'm really worried about that guy, Mickey Boy. I don't know what Mickey Boy's problem. Maybe he's, you know, I'll just say it, maybe like myself, the chances or something like that, you know, but Scotty, he goes, you should, now listen to me, now listen to me. Yes. Now listen to me. Well, he's oh, maybe oh, losing it a wee bit, you see, he's losing control of the conversation. David, one of the things I had somebody on earlier saying he was getting bullied last night and he was going to take it to the authorities and all this. I says, look, I said, I didn't have time to see any of the chat last night because there were just so many calls. Boy was actually ruining it. Yes. It. So are you saying we should it. ban Matey Boy? He was ruining it. I'll see out the nation. I'll say it to you out the nation. He was ruining the show. Yes. He said he was ruining the show. Now listen to me. Now listen to me. 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 Yes. Yes. So we'll not have any of that then. Well, yes. Yes. Can you win? No, no, absolutely, no, David. You can win. Everybody's a winner on Scotty McClure. There are no losers on here. There are no losers on here. There are only highly intelligent people with something to say. Yeah, but I think Kareem is not rude like Matey Boy. Oh, no, Kareem's never rude. Kareem's an absolute gent. Yeah, I, 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 also, I also love Glenn. I love Glenn. Yeah, okay. yeah. Glenn, Glenn's proper Glenn. respect. He's Glenn's a gent. A nice You're a gent. John's yeah. a gent. Yeah. Quality. Five minutes up. 
No, don't you worry. Don't you worry about that. There's no problem at all. It's lovely to have you on. And you know you've got a second call up your sleeve. If there's anything you don't like, you ring me and we discuss it. Thank you, do, Davy. All the best. Oh, by the way, thank you for your very generous donation. No problem, Scott. Very, very that'll kind happen. of you. That'll happen all the time, Scott. That'll, that'll be every, every week. No, I'll tell you what I've done the day, Davy. I've launched the GoFundMe and the PayPal.me and Good. said I'm looking for 100 angels at £7.50. Right. Right. Now, that's quite a cheap way to become an angel these days. Yes. I think it's Scotty Pies and Shops, is that correct? The Scotty Pies, not 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 so much nowadays, McClue's Pies. Wow, right. So can I go to like, shops tomorrow and buy the Scotty McClue Pies? No, I don't think we have them. We, 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 we gave up the vegetarian lattice slice and a rich chicken sauce. That was the oh, most popular. Well, so where did I stop in chicken shops? Oh, long, long, long time ago, McClue's Pies. <laughs> Bring back the clues pies. Absolutely, we might well do that. And a dinky do to you, sir. You're doing my, my love. Top man, you're a wonderful man. Love you, loads. Love you. Love Thank you. you. Dinky do. There we are. What a man. Howdy, Scotty, says Mark. Dinky do. Uh, who else have we got here? Evening, everybody. Evening, Kareem. Evening. Uh, so there we are. Uh, Joseph replying to John, Karim, I'm the gaffer. Thatcher was a good speaker as a Tory, good Tory leader. This is Karim talking on the chat here. Uh, but to many in Scotland would not forgive her, will not forgive her. If a statue is erected, there'd be riots in George Square and trouble. Karim is a good addition to the show. End of, says Jim. I agree, Jim, says D. No to banning Kareem, a very educated and interesting man. Andy Pandy has just sent me beautiful, beautiful cookies on uh, TikTok Live. I thank you, TikTokers. Definitely, Eb. Uh, thanks, folks, for the support. We're all part of the Chit Chat group, Scotty's the Gaffer. Let's all get together and pitch in for the Scotty statue. Kareem, officially unveil it. Kareem can unveil the statue of Scotty McClure in George Square. We did discuss a statue of Scotty McClure, but it was a while back. We also discussed naming the airport Scotty McClure International. There you have it now. Yay, Jerry. Yes, D. Fantastic stuff. Give us a call on the phones and uh, let us know what is what. The phones should be working. Thank you for 58 cookies. On TikTok, Andy Pandy, that is so kind of you. Welcome, 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 I say. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth you're watching, you're watching Scotty McClure with the internet phone in. And we are, of course, live on YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn Live, Facebook Live, and TikTok. You're live on Scotty's phone in, who's that? Hello? Hello, you live with Scotty's phone in. Can you hear me? There we are. You see, suddenly lost his bottle, that puzzle. It does happen when people realize they're actually on and that the universe is listening. Share the videos on TikTok. Thank you so much. Follow me on TikTok if you can. We want to build up our followers. Give me likes on TikTok. Get tap, 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 tap. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell. If you've got a Twitch account, please go and watch me on Twitch. It's a superb feed, even if it means going from YouTube to Twitch. Scotty underscore McClue is the Twitch account. Scotty, who was the guy who used to phone up and sing you a song? Paul Giuliani. There were so many used to do that. Phone us up and sing us a song. Greetings from Estonia. Greetings to you from Estonia. Lovely to have you with us on Scotty McClue's internet phone in. Wonderful. I can give you lots of likes. Thank you, Danny boy. Oh, Danny boy. Wonderful stuff. Suzanne's laughing her head off here. Let's have a debate. Bottled milk or cartons of milk? 
Well, I think if I remember, the milk carton was a tetrahedron. And I think that the people that manufactured the milk cartons at the time were some of the richest people in the world. I remember hearing about that. It was a dynasty <coughs> that was into milk packaging and they were tetrahedrons. How good is that? I get my milk delivered in glass bottles. Suzanne, the glass bottle's still going. That's quite a rarity, but you must get it from the milkman. Wonderful stuff. Followers, guys, on TikToks, what motivates you in life? What motivates me is informing, educating, and entertaining the public. That's my life's work. Thatcher stopped the milk in schools. Andy Pandy, nothing gets past you. Likes are coming, Danny boy. I thank you. I've got 1,500 likes on TikTok. Guys, if you're not following me on TikTok and you've got a TikTok account, at Scotty McClue. Literally, the amper sound and at Scotty McClue. Scotty, good show apart from Korean. It's not Korean. It's Kareem, Billy. And Kareem is going nowhere because he's highly intelligent. Billy, does it go over your head a bit? Is that what you're saying? You're not understanding him. Tetra Pak, that's it, Jim. That was the company. Welly Song has joined us with a lovely square green open-eyed face. <laughs> Welly Song, welcome. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Yes, the movement on the doorstep at 6 a.m. Whoosh, so sad. I'd be getting up then, mind you. Johnny Boy from Port Glasgow, the Portonian, is live on TikTok. How lovely to have you with us, John Boy. There we go. Guys, get sharing. If you're watching on YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn Live, or Facebook Live, share and share and share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. It's very important. And they will come and join us because... We're only about four weeks old. We might be going into our fifth week now. Hope you're well, Scotty. Kirsty, I am. Lovely to hear from you. Yes, Scotty, a lot of money with a simple idea of making cartons for milk. And they were superb, Jerry. You just gave them a wee tear on the corner. You just had to remember which corner you had torn. Because milk is dodgy. I once was painting <coughs> a cottage in the country for a friend. And the friend picked me up in the car at six o'clock in the evening. And I said, I bought some milk to make myself a wee cup of tea. I've just brought it with me in the bag here. And he slammed on the brakes and said, get out the car. Get that milk in the bin. I once had milk spilt in a car and I had to sell it. So there we are. So I don't know if any of you have ever had a car where the milk has spilt. The numbers are going up. I'm sure they will explode eventually. Jim Cook, this is what we need. We need you guys to be in on the act, telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. And just suddenly, people will get the message. That's why Scotty McClure might sound as if he's repeating himself, because people are joining us all the time, and we need to let them know what they've joined. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> Dinky do, Scotty. I see all these folk phoning make the show. If they're no happy, then send them doing the swanee. Beachy, beachy, absolutely. We only want happy people on here. That's why we started the stream in the first place. There's no point in crying over spilt milk. Even if Scotty just rang the 014 number, it didn't pick up, went to voicemail. Ah, Yorkshire man. Right, let's try it again. Let's reboot it. <coughs> Sorry, a wee bit hoarse tonight. I don't know why. I suppose it's all the talking. <laughs> I talk for a living. Right, try that now, guys, and see what's happening on the old Skype. It should work. Give us a phone. <coughs> I'm just rebooting the phones now. Right, that should work okay. Give it a shot. Families grow when the milkman delivers. Absolutely. There we are. Is it the usual love? No, I'll pay you this morning. <laughs> we 
Right, join us as soon as you can. Thank you for sharing the live videos on TikTok. Flying cabbage. Thank you. Has everybody followed me on TikTok at Scotty McClue? Have you subscribed to the YouTube and chat the bell? Uh, right, wait a minute. Jim, Jim, I can't have that said on here. I'm going to have to put you in time out. So there we are. I won't block you, Jim, but I'll have to put you in time out for, uh, you know, spreading a lie like that. Uh, there we are. We can't have that. There's nothing funny about that. And I don't really want to block you. There we are. I might I might have to block Jim. We'll see. Yeah, there we are. Are you a foal? A wee horse? A wee bit horse? We need more chat on this, Scotty boy. Well, come on, beachy, beachy. Get the chat going and let's build it up. Remember, we're very, very new. It's very brave to start a phone in from nothing. Now, who have we got here? I'm keeping trying to, to reboot this, see if we can get it going. I might have to empty it again and start you all again. Wait, let's see what's going on here. Because there shouldn't be a, a breath of air between some of these calls. Right, is everybody phoning? Tell us what's going on there. He says, Reb, if you've just joined us, you are, of course, watching Scotty McClure. And we're live on the big one. <clears throat> Fantastic. Right. That's that. Good. Uh, everybody give us a call just to check the phones, please. They can be a little bit temperamental because we had nine waiting at one point, and I think maybe the system gives up if you have too many waiting. <laughs> the system can not cope with Scotty McClure. That's what we like. There we go. Get the settings up <coughs> and see what's going on. Eyes down for a full house on the phones. Absolutely, James. Still didn't pick up, mate, using the mobile number. It says you're not available. Oh, I'm very much available. I wonder if we should try reinstalling. Or is that too big a job? Would that take a long time? What have I got here? Oh! Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just moving this over here. Fantastic. I'm going to try reinstalling. Now, this might be a bit of a problem. There we go. But we'll see what we can do for you. All right. And then we'll see what's happening here. Might be something to do with the app. You see, you can sometimes get that. Oh, there we go. Excellent stuff. You can sometimes get all this, you know what I'm saying? Wonderful stuff, thank you, do Scotty McClure. Oh, and lots and lots to talk about tonight, and so little time to do it in. Now, what do we got here? I'm getting all sorts of nonsense here. Right now, we may have uninstalled and may have to reinstall, guys. Because I can no longer see it. <laughs> but it's not the end of the world. We can nip off and pop back up. Right. Let me see what's going on. Okay. What I'm doing, I'm getting into something here. <clears throat> ah, there we go. That's a good sound. Right, give us another call, whoever that was, and we'll see if we can get you on. Excellent. Sounds like we're back in business.
It's fine. <clears throat> right. My problem is, I can't actually see you ringing. I can hear you ringing, but I can't see you ringing. So there we go. This is wonderful. So we're back in business, and I can hear you, but I can't see you. So let me try and get this up. Right, keep going guys, we will get you eventually. Uh, now what I need to do here, all right, so I want all that. Here we go, that's wonderful. We will get there, folks. Do not worry. Uh, this is a very, very big thing. Very catchy tune. Fantastic stuff. Right. Now, I think we should be back in business. I just need to. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? It's Billy. Billy Dinky Doola. Good to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Have you got your problem sorted out, Scotty? Well, we're getting it sorted out. Yes, indeed. We had a wee problem there. There's always there's always a wee problem, Billy, isn't there? Uh, your head's all over the place, mate. It's, there's always a wee problem, son. But there we go. But <laughs> we're back in business. Uh, is that you? Yes, that was very good of you there, actually, Billy. That's got us back in business, lad. No problem. What, what about this Kareem? Where's, where's he from? He's a fantastic character. He's a Glaswegian. All right. Yes, See? and he's a fantastic character. And uh, he he used to phone me on the radio. Yes, and and now, yes, he used to phone me on the radio, and he was so efficient. He usually got through first. <laughs> How good's that? And he manages yeah. to get through first, you see. He's just ahead of the game. Very, very clever man. Good man. Good stuff, Scotty Yep, ab good absolutely. Thing. So that's you up to date with all that. How good is that? Uh, this is brilliant, man. This is brilliant. The last couple of nights I've food you in. It's good. You're enjoying it. Excellent. Lovely to talk to you, Billy. And thanks very much for your call. Thank you, Dinky Lala. Fantastic. Right, that's him. That's poor Billy. Tremendous stuff. As the lovable lassie packed up job in here at last. As soon as somebody coughs in this house, we all say the same thing. Absolutely, yes, I know, but it's not actually funny. That's that's the whole thing I've got to say. It's not at all funny. Wonderful stuff. Now. I'm just wondering, you know, I'm working away, I'm paddling away here, folks. I hope you realize what my clue's doing here. Tremendous stuff. At great, at great bother and trouble to get everything right for you guys. Now then, mm -hmm. wonderful. Right, I'm just seeing what we've got here. Right, stay connected, so that's rather good now. 
how do I get this back on the... Uh, what I'm trying to do is get this back down here. It's giving me all sorts of things here. What a carry-on, honest to goodness. What we could do, I suppose, I could push off and sort this and come back to you. That might be a better idea. Mm-hmm. Because there's so many things to do here. And so little time to do it in. What's that like? Now. Yes. Right, I've got all this, guys, and I just need to do... I want to get this along to my bar at the bottom. That's what I'm looking to do. Get my bar at the bottom. There we are. Let's see if we can get that done. Mm -hmm. oh, it's giving me all the stuff here that we're no wanting. Yes. Right. What I think we'll do, we'll uh, we'll pack this in just now, and I will go and sort out the phones, and I'll come back and I will speak to you. Fantastic. Come to Car Loop, Scotty says, Kirsty, thank you. Anyway, I need to go now. You need to be good, Jim. Absolutely. If we can't laugh, there's no hope. Yes, I know, but you can't say things like that, Jim, because somebody would say, oh, I was sorry to hear about that, you know, all that kind of carry on. That's the problem that we have. <laughs> I can hear you, but I can't get you. This is awful, this. This is so difficult. I can hear you, but I can't get you. Right, folks, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to push off, I think. Good morning, Scotty from Australia. Thank you, do to the Lord of the Internet. Thank you, Frank. Speak soon. Can't get through. I know technology is a bugger, says Jim. Absolutely, Jim. It's, uh, it's spoiling what we're doing. But what I'll do, I'll go and I'll sort it out. We've got about 10 minutes left, so I'll pop up and we'll do another few minutes. How would that be? Keep your eye on the phone in. Yes, get everything sorted, and we'll see if we can sort it out for you. Okay, cool. Right, I'll end this, and I'll see you all in about five minutes' time. Dinky, <laughs>